Hello again and welcome to the next video for Amazon Selling Hustle. In this video, I am going to show you and demonstrate how you can use coupon advertising to effective, effectively run profitable campaigns for your product on Amazon. Let's get right into it. So coupon advertising, as discussed in the overview, is a section on Amazon where people can come to look at products that they're interested in and clip coupons all day long. So they may see products and go, I like this and I like this and they can constantly clip coupons and add it to their coupon list without the advertiser being charged. And that's a huge advantage for the advertiser. The advertiser only gets charged when you actually buy the product. Okay, so how do we run coupon ads? You're going to go to your Amazon Seller Central account, go over to advertising, and go down to coupons. Now, to run a coupon ad, coupon ads usually take two to three days to start. So you cannot start a coupon ad immediately. It does have to get approved. It takes a couple days for that to happen, and then you'll be on the next train when that happens in, a, like I said, in about two to three days. So I'm currently running coupon ad in the dog category. I named it specially dog training aids and it's running. I'm running it forever. You have three months, I think, max to run your coupon. So 90 day period. Uh, so they block it on anything longer than 90 days. They won't let you run the ad. You have to exact exact end date of your ad for 90 days. Okay. You can budget it. You can create a budget. The budget you set for the, I set for this particular coupon was a thousand dollars, meaning um, for coupons, Amazon charge you 60 cents, uh, in Canada. And then that's the fee that Amazon makes. Every time someone uses your coupon, they would make 60 cents off of you. And then, uh, the other part of the budget is how much your discount is for your coupon. So in this particular case, I'm giving a $2 discount. So each $2, each coupon, each coupon usage redeem redemption it's going to cost me $2.60. So if I take a thousand and divide that by $2.60, what do I get? 1,000, let me do the math, the Google math, divided by 2.6. It's going to give me approximately 500, 384 sales. So at about 384 sales, my coupon will end. Okay, so I currently have 296 sales um, for a grand total of off, so I, I mean, a really good conversion, almost 50% conversion, maybe 40% conversion, 775 times my coupon was clipped 296 times. It was redeemed for a total of $7,388 in sales. A cost of advertising was $745. So 10% ACOS is awesome. My, my margin on my uh dog category is 50 points so 50 percent so i'm still making 40 points on these coupons so a very very lucrative uh way of advertising your product so let's show you how to create an ad we'll basically go create a new coupon and you can create a coupon for anything that you're selling if you're doing retail arbitrage i would say it's a great great way to run and advertise your retail arbitrage products to sell well because it puts you in a category where other people may not necessarily be right now um, not everybody is running advertising on their retail arbitrage products so let's say i want to run a coupon and the first thing i need to give them is i need to give them my particular product that i'm going to run an ad on so i am going to now go on to my inventory click my inventory manage inventory i'm going to look at my inventory and see hmm what do i want to add on I got to run an add on. It has to be products that have inventory. So in this one, do I have any inventory? Nope. So I need to see more results on the page. So there we go. So we'll go down. Okay. I see I got inventory on some of these things here. I got inventory on these Kirkland Owlet timers. I'm selling for $12 each. What else I got? Kirkland head massagers. I have six of them in inventory, selling them for $14.97 each. Let's run a coupon on these. 
So the next thing I need is I need this ASIN number right here. So I got to copy the ASIN, okay? And then I got to go back to my coupon and I have to paste the ASIN into the coupon box and hit go. The product will then show up. That's the product, yes. I'm gonna add it to my coupon, okay? So now, the other thing about coupons is that you cannot create a coupon for your product only if you're in retail arbitrage. So for example, if there are five other sellers of this product, I still have to own the buy box. I'm just creating a coupon for the main ASIN and I'm running it on that main ASIN. Now, I still have to own the buy box in that ASIN, so I still have to maintain the best price and then give the coupon discount as well on top of that. So just remember that's a pretty important part. If you're doing private label, the advantage is you're gonna be the only person in the buy box, so you'll have full control over your price. But in the world of retail arbitrage, especially if you're the only seller, or if you're not the only seller, excuse me, if there are multiple sellers, you have to manage best price plus giving a coupon uh, discount. So now I am going to add that. I've added it into my coupon section. You can add more than one product. You can actually add multiple products to have that 50% uh, off, 50, excuse me, 50 cents off, or a dollar off, or 75 cents off. You can add uh, as many as you would like. So I'm just going to do this one coupon, this one product under this example. Okay, continue to next step for budget and discount. So the discount, enter the amount, the discount amount you want to apply on the products you added to your coupon in the previous step. We require the discount to be between 5% and 80% of your lowest price for the product in the last 30 days. So this particular product is $6.99, so 10% is $1.60, half of that is $0.80. Cents. So I have to give a minimum of $0.80 cents off of this product. Well, it's $15, so half of that is $1.50, so $0.75. Cents. So I have to give $0.75 cents off of this coupon, so 0 0.75. Or sorry, lowest price discount. Yeah, $0.75. Cents. 0 0.75. Point, am I getting a decimal? 75 cents is there I wonder if it's a minimum I don't think I can give 75 cents off maybe I have to be in dollar increments not too sure why it won't let me do that but let's put a dollar for now for the sake of this video we'll put a dollar off of that product now what's my budget going to be and as explained the budget is going to be uh, a combination of the 60 cents that you cost you when cost you for advertising when somebody redeems your 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 coupon as well as your total amount of uh discount given off the product so if i want to give off say 300 300 or have well i have only a, like 10 in stock so let's say my budget is going to be ten dollars plus six dollars so sixteen dollars so my budget is going to be twenty dollars i could even make it sixteen dollars because i only have 10 in stock so once I sell all 10 at $16, I am good. So next step, you're going to continue to the next step, schedule and target, okay? Coupon title, you can give it a title. Usually you wanna be broad with this particular title. They give you guidelines here. Really, it's just saying be broad. Um, for example, they even say give you a percentage here you can use. Um, I just say massage tool massage tools or you can even go his and her hers massage massage tools there we go you can give a percentage off you can say five percent off his and hers massage tools five percent we won't even put that let the people figure it out themselves uh and then we're going to do a start date now remember how i said the start date had to be um, within usually three days. So today being the seventh, the first day I can run the campaign will be the 10th. And then let's run it till I can run it till the end of the month, or I can run it till August the 8th. So April, May, June, July, August, four months. So it's a four month duration, um, not three months. So let's run it till the very last day. If I sell out, the coupon will just end. That will be it. So now you can target your customers. Pretty simplistic targeting. 
Um, I leave it at all customers, but if you want to limit an audience, maybe you're selling student books, so you want just students to see it. Uh, maybe you're giving a really good discount for Prime members, or maybe it's a do-it-yourself or um, a mother, like a new mother product, a pregnancy product. I don't know. You'll target moms. I don't know. Uh, but for me, I always leave it at all customers. I continue to the next step. And here's the breakdown. So I'm going to save a dollar on his or her massage tools. Uh, budget is $16. Start date the 10th. End date is August 5th. To all customers, restrict one per customer. You can make restrictions. I did not. You can say you only want one per customer to be sold. I'm not going to make that restriction. I'd like a customer to buy all six. Turns out I only have six in stock. So that should clear out this inventory fairly fast. So it's a great, a really effective way to increase your retail arbitrage sales is doing coupons. Uh, you'll see this in the retail arbitrage section as well, this video. Uh, it's a very great way to increase your private label product sales uh, by running coupons as well. All right, guys, that's it. Hit your submit coupon button. Oh, coupons required a max a minimum budget of $100. Well, let's up it to $100. Done. Everything good? Optional. We're good. We're good. We're going to submit it and submit coupon. Oh, 90 days. See, I was right. Why did it give me four months option? It's only three months option. I'm going to go with one month. So it is 90 days max. For some reason, Amazon let me date it all the way for four months. But I'm just going to go to the end of the month on this coupon. But it lets you know of the mistakes that you make, which is cool for the video because I did make two mistakes there. $100 minimum and only 90 days maximum, which I knew I was right on. All right. Submit coupon. There we go. We have received your coupon submission. It'll take a couple days for it to go live and you'll be good to go. And go to my coupon dashboard. It won't show up until it's live on there. And I'm only run, running one coupon right now. I have to run about 200 and I have not had time. Create a coupon and keep going. Keep running coupons for all the product that you want to give a discount on and, and reap the benefits of those sales. All right, guys, enjoy this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next video.